Hi, my name is Eva Wittenberg and I joined the linguistics department as faculty in 2016. I think I'll tell you first a little bit about my work and then I'll tell you a little bit more about my fabulous students. So my main research focus is how people comprehend language. That is, how come you're listening and watching this video and you're listening to what I say and while I am talking there is this mushroom of information growing in your head. You can't even not comprehend me, right? You can't defend yourself against me making that mushroom purple or jump around or sing twinkle twinkle little star. You cannot defend yourself against these pictures in your head. And that's good, it just means that your comprehension system is up and running. But what I'm doing in my research is not trying to make you think about cartoon mushrooms. I'm investigating what the shape of your imagination or your event control is like depending on the grammar that I choose when I tell you something. For instance, if I tell you that Ernie kissed Bert, you probably imagine a different kind of kiss than when I tell you that Ernie gave Bert a kiss. But why is that? Why is it different? How can we formally model and predict the shape of Ernie's kiss in your head based on linguistic theory? Or once the kiss is over, you might want to keep on talking about it. Which linguistic means do you have to refer back to it and talk more? And do these effects and these phenomena appear in every language? So far we look mostly at English, but we also run studies on German or Italian or Hindi, for example. All languages that have a very different system from English. And apart from these core research interests, we also ask in my lab how different methods can tell us different things about language comprehensions and also what that means for our theory of what language is and how it sits in our brains and how language and other cognitive systems interact with each other. So most of our data are collected here in the language comprehension lab. We are using very many different methods to do this. Sometimes we measure um, how fast or slow people read on a screen or on paper. Sometimes we measure where people look when they comprehend language, which reference they're considering when they hear about a scene. Or sometimes we also just see how they match pictures to sentences. Um, being in the lab is the best part of my job, in my opinion. There are usually about a dozen or half a dozen undergraduates working with me, which is great. Right now they're on vacation. Um, I'm not, unfortunately. Um, these students are super smart, they're very dedicated, they're very creative and they make everything about my research better. Usually they help with everything from creating sentences and pictures and words, selecting words. They make videos, um, they program my experiments and they especially collect a lot of data. Um, I very much enjoy working with my research assistants because they're so much better than me about a lot of things and it's true. Some speak languages that I don't speak, for instance, and some speak languages that I have never studied. Um, and they have very many great and different ideas that I wouldn't have thought of. Sometimes they also just make me feel old. They force me to get a Twitter account, for instance. Um, they tell me when my example sentences use words that haven't been used since the 1990s. Um, they ask lots and lots of questions um, and they work really hard. Two of my RAs are now paid lab managers in other labs. One just started his PhD at Johns Hopkins after giving a really great talk at a big conference in Berlin. And things like this make me very proud. Of. 